What's the deal? It's 7.45 a.m. January 12th. Right now I'm up 82% on my portfolio. A current corp is sitting at $6.37. I have 163 shares of it. Uh, real quick, on my last video I did, which was yesterday, I did put I was up 40%. I had, a, you know, like a little brain fart. I'm not up 40%. I was up 81%. That's the main reason I wanted to make this video right now is to clarify the mistake I did make yesterday. So I'm not up 40%. I am up over 80%. All right, so I have four shares of Innovative Industrial Properties. It's sitting at $192.06. I'm up 8.37% on that position, which is $59.31. It does have a dividend coming in on January 15th, so I'll be receiving $4.96 on that date. I have one share of Grow Generation. It's at $51.27. I'm up 13.9% on that position. And I have 10 shares of CUK Carnival, which is at $17.56. And I'm, a, I'm actually down 2.27%. And what I'll do right now is actually sell Grow Generation at $51.21 during extended hours. Okay, that got sold. Now I will actually buy some CUK. <laughs> Let's buy a four and I'll put it one penny higher. All right, so those got bought. Now I have 14 shares of CUK and I have zero shares of C, uh, GRWG, which is Grow Generation. Let's take a glance at the performance of this portfolio. In the past five days, I'm up $319.30. In the past month, I'm up $672.49. In the past three months, I'm up $815.62. And I did start this portfolio in the beginning of October 2020. These are the stock profits and losses I have generated with this account. My max profits I made on a stock was a Kerna Corp, $556.95. And... I've made the most loss on Beyond Meat, which is $6.16. Bring to Weeble, I'm up 96.5%, but I did the math, so I do know I am not up that much. I'm up a little bit over 80% on this portfolio. Congratulations to everyone who held MJ stocks during the Georgia Senate runoff. Mitch McConnell can no longer block bills having to do with federal legalization. Now it's Chuck Schumer, and he is absolutely pro-legalization. In the past five days, a Kerna Corp is up 78.67%. Past month, it's up 61.9%. Past three months, a Kerna Corp is at 39.9%. And past year, it's down 13.68%. ,68 Let's go ahead and draw a couple trend lines here. So we can see where this thing's going, more or less. It's looking like a trend reversal to me. Let's take a quick look at my Akerna Corp trading record. I first got in at $4.65 on October 13, 2020. From there, I started averaging down a lot. And then I sold 17 shares at $4.10 on 11 30, 2020. Then I bought one for three dollars and ninety-three cents on that same day. Sold it at four dollars and twenty cents on that same day. Then I bought nine on December first, twenty twenty, for three dollars and eighty-five cents. Started gathering shares. Sold forty-five at three dollars and fifty-six cents on December twenty-first. Bought sixty on December twenty-eighth for three dollars and fifty-six cents. Started gathering shares again. Sold one hundred and forty-six at four dollars and twenty-nine cents. On January 6, 2021, then bought 149 after it dropped. I bought it at uh, $4.22 on January 6, 2021. Bought one at 420 same day. Then I bought 12 at uh, $4 that same day. Then I sold 162 shares at $4.64 on January 6. Then I bought 15 
after it fell massively at four dollars and twenty cents. Then I bought one hundred fifty-seven at four dollars and forty cents on January seventh, twenty twenty-one. Then I sold fifteen at five dollars and sixty-six cents after an explosion on January eighth, twenty twenty-one. Then I sold one hundred fifty-seven after it exploded even more on January eleventh, twenty twenty-one. Then I bought 82 after it fell to $5.72 on that same day. Then I bought 37 at $5.59 after it fell. It fell some more. Then I bought 44 at $5.54 on January 11th, 2021. My average price is $5.64. My total cost was $919.83 for this open position. And my market value right now is $1,041.57. It is 50 percent of my portfolio innovative industrial properties is 37.70 percent of my portfolio i am investing in iipr i am not trading iipr and carnival is 11.70 percent this is cuk carnival not ccl carnival there is actually two ticker symbols for carnival if you do manage to get 100 shares of carnival there is a shareholder benefit if you have over 100 shares of Either CUK or CCL, you get a $250 credit on a five-day cruise. Carnival is at $17.17. I'm down 3.8% on Carnival. So I will buy a couple more shares. This thing's been trading sideways for about a week. We'll put it one cent up. Okay, so that got filled. Also, IIPR right now is at $195.87. My average cost is $177.23. I'm up 10.5%, which is $73.71. A current corporate right now is at $6.35. I'm up $115.22 on this open position. Of course, I've been trading a current corp since I've started uh, this portfolio in October. I'm up 12.53% again on this open position. Overall, the MJ sector seems to be up again. Tilray is up 5%. GW Pharmaceuticals up 3.6%. CBDMD is up 3.5%. Hexo 3.5%. Afria 3.4%. IIPR 2.4%. Kronos Group 2.1%. Aurora 1.9%. ETFMG Alternative Harvest 1.3%. Grow Generations up 1.05%. CGC is up 1%. Village Farms is up 0.44%. Akerna is actually down 1.14%. Organogram Holdings is also down 7.9%. I appreciate you watching my video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Jab that bell also. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And that's it. Peace.